Good morning. Right? Not. Yeah, it is a good morning, but it's drizzly, rainy, and I certainly am no rich piano. I don't know how that guy did it. He really, he really hustled, no question. But of course, he didn't have to go to work. No, you know, different work. Anyway, so Monday was off. I just took off Monday. I was frazzled, burned, took off Monday, recuperate. Yesterday being Tuesday, uh, did some video. I don't know that it's worthwhile to even put it up. Did not train lifting-wise, but did do cardio. Did cardio. So today being Wednesday, now today we're going to do legs. So today I will shoot that video. And my intention is, from right this minute, my intention is this evening after I get home from work is to go to the gym and do legs and use the variety of equipment available to me there. But that might change. I might, I might come home and decide to do all free weights which would be my next leg workout after this leg workout anyway, right? Because I'm going to alternate. Train at the gym, train in the garage. Train at the gym, train in the garage. Got to get out the door, run a leg for work, get your uh, ancient grains and your peanut butter and your blueberry preserves and just put it together like a sandwich. Put it together like a sandwich and take it on the go with you. Take it in the car and eat it. All right, so what do I, what do I bring to work to eat? Of course, now I got to have my drink. This is kale, blueberries, beets, and strawberries. Not as much beets as, as I do when I just drink pure beets. And of course I have two bottles of core water I'll drink in the course of my work shift. This is my last bottle of Fairlife chocolate. This is the last one I'll be drinking, then I switched to totally just to skim. I've already had one of these this morning. And I have one more in here as a snack. This is my favorite, all-time favorite yogurt. It's delicious. It's unbelievably good. It's the last bread that I'll eat on this diet. I have a few pieces, like four pieces. I'm left in here, five pieces. I won't eat all that, but I'll eat four of those today. So all told, I'm probably looking at the course of the day. I uh, consume, you know, I've had my breakfast. My breakfast was my ancient grains, three of my ancient grain waffles with... Uh, you know, peanut butter and blueberries on it. So, total consumption of protein while I'm at work, probably talking about 30 grams there, 90 grams there, 120 grams, and 30, 35, and 20, 30, 40, 50, 155 grams, maybe 165 or 70 grams tops. And that's counting all the protein from my uh, plant-based sources that's really, that's stretching it. I'm probably not hitting 170 grams. But when I go home, then I will have my last meal of the day. And of course, that's going to be it's pretty much always the same stuff. That one's going to be, um, uh, it, it, it's a chicken chili that bound me, but it's got huge pieces of chicken. It's incredible. And it's all um, wings and thighs, thighs. Thigh meat, I think it is, not wings. It's very, very tasty. It's incredibly delicious. So that's it. At the end of the day, I'm looking to get a probably, if necessary, I would supplement a protein drink, but I don't think it's necessary every day for me. When it is, I will, for convenience. I'm only looking to get 200, 220 grams of protein a day. I think that's all I need. That's plenty. Shut up and sit down. did legs in the garage with my dag on. I got hit with like a double weapon. My battery was dying. It started flashing, which 
not a big deal, right? I could plug it in somewhere out there because I had the charger with me and cord. But I didn't have another card with me. The daggone card. I have, a, you know, various cards. The one I happen to have in there tonight is the uh, smallest out of the batch. And really, it fills up like too quick. It's one that one day I, I got all the way to retro one day. didn't even have a card in the camera. I left the one that came out of the camera at home in the uh, computer. And I didn't have any others in the camera case, which is like really disorganized of me. And actually, whenever I ready to buy one, I didn't want to buy a really good one because how many do I need? I keep just leaving them all over the place. So I got a cheap one, and it doesn't hold much. And, like, unbelievable how little it actually holds. It's only, I'm only filming in HD. The thing will film in 4K. I have a special card for that, as you have to have one. Uh, but uh, it takes so long to upload the damn thing. The file's so big, it takes so long to upload. It's just not worth messing with. Yeah. Anyway, so tonight I did, um, I started out with free squats, which I haven't done in many, many years. I warmed up just the bar, then I added some quarters, just to feel things out out there. And I did, uh, I don't know, I did like 15 reps, I guess, with the bar. I did like 13 reps with the quarters. I did like 13 reps with um, 145 on each side. Then I put 145 and a quarter on each side, and I did like 10 reps with that. And then I put 245s on each side, did 10 reps with that. And then I put... 245s and a quarter on each side and did 10 reps with that and believe me I was beat man I'm not gonna bullshit you I, I didn't have a whole lot more in me so that was it for that I was gonna um, strip some weight and you know get more reps but I just didn't have it in me it's been a long time since I free squatted and uh, it's the first you know also the first leg workout at this lighter body weight really so then I uh did some stiff legs and I did them with dumbbells and a barbell. First I started doing them with a barbell and I did like four or five sets with the barbell, um, incrementally increasing the weight. You know, the first set was like 15 reps and the next one was like 15 reps, then 12 reps, then 10 reps. And I think I did a set with eight reps. And then I didn't have any to strip weight. So, I mean, typically when on, you know, on test, I, I do all kind of strip weight, stripper set stuff, and giant sets and drop sets, all that shit, right? But I didn't have that in me. So then I moved out, I had the dumbbells and I started to do some, I figured I'll do some with dumbbells, stiff legs, because it feels totally different. I like to get a little push to the top. I wish I could have shown, videoed that. Um, and it, 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 you know, it was okay, but it wasn't doing what I wanted. So I did lunges in place, you know, just step forward and then step back and step forward and then step back because I don't really have uh, the room out there to do to do walking lunges. You know, sometimes I step forward and do them, sometimes I step back and do them. Walking lunges, I think, are the best. So those, I did five sets of those, the same thing, and I didn't go heavy, you know, I didn't increase the weight. I stuck with the weight I started with, and that was pretty taxing. And that's all I did. That's all I did for my, you know, first free weight leg workout in God knows how long. Uh, and definitely the very first one at this lighter body weight. And it taxed me. It uh, doesn't seem like much, but you know what? Just enough is enough right now. And I'll probably feel that shit tomorrow. I'll keep you posted. Now it's time to eat something. All right, this is 25 grams of whey isolate. It's probably actually... 35 or 30, I don't know. The little scoop, you know, the ice of pure powder, the little scoop is for 25. Damn, hands are dirty from those filthy bars out there. I guess I better wash my beaters. And uh, the little scoop is like 25 gram increments or whatever. And it was a heaping, heaping, heaping scoop. So I'm going to guess it was 30, 35 grams. Uh, I'm going to drink this and then I'm going to have some dinner. My typical dinner lately, which I love, is my chicken chili that Gal made. Um, uh, I'll show you what the legs are looking like so we can just keep track of them as they improve. <laughs> Well, I'll just 
just heated up my dinner. And she, even though we keep it all, most of this frozen. Was that frozen before? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I don't want to do it. Because she makes such large amounts. Make lots of it and then divvy it up into Here's my frozen containers. Here's Val's frozen soup. What is your soup? What's this? Cauliflower soup. Cauliflower soup. Anyway, that's how she does it. She makes these stacks of containers full and puts them in the freezer for her and for me. So that's awesome. And then instead of heating mine up in the microwave, she actually heated it up on the stove, which is a luxury because I would just start the microwave myself. And uh, yeah, it looks good. It's so good. The spicing, the flavoring, everything is so good in this. And you know why that is? I'm going to tell you, especially for Burl, for Brother Burl and Brother Drama in particular. You know, it's one of my sayings, like one of my little sayings. I made this shit up. Sometimes you'll hear me say, put some titties on it. And that means, I'm going to hear shit about this, because this is sexist as hell. But uh, I like, you know, what do you want me to do? Deny my fondness for, you know. So what it usually means is, I refer to that, okay? Like, you got something that is good and adequate, but you want to fancy it up a little bit, you got to put some titties on it. Or, and it comes from, like, cooking and stuff, or the touch of a woman, right? Female in the household there, uh, Brother Burl. You know, when the female in the household, she does, that's what she does. You know, it's just how she does everything better than we do it, you know, because she you know, puts some titties on it. I mean, it's, it's different approach to have a look at some kind of a magic sorcery type of thing that we're not imbued with and, you know when they they just break open some little shakers of this and that and, and a dash of this and that and don't even really measure much and they put they put some titties on you know so anyway I'm gonna go eat this and I'll be back in a minute and then you'll be rid of me and free of me for another day all right